Hi, in today's short video, we briefly talk about the valuation models of the mortgage servicing right or MSR. The main purpose of the MSR model is to value the MSR asset across the distribution of potential future market outcomes, which includes a base scenario that generates an MSR value that, it, that is used to mark the official book and record. The mortgage servicing right represents a right to service mortgage loans when the underlying loans are securitized. The size of the mortgage portfolios are decreasing steadily in the past few years. This punitive Basel capital requirements has made holding MSR less desirable. Since the majority of the new originations go into the balance sheet, the MSR portfolio is effectively in a runoff mode. The model system uses the discounted cash flow method to take into account the uncertainties inherent in the prepay and credit behavior, as well as the interest rate risk. The model system consists of a number of component models to project interest rate and cash flow trajectories for the future. These component models are calibrated to the historical data and the market data. The MSR values are calculated as an expected discounted cash flow with option adjusted spread commensurate with the loan and borrower characteristics and the geographic locations using Monte Carlo simulation methods. The model has an assumption about the OAS. It assumes the changes in OAS is relatively infrequent. The constant OAS is added to the pathwise discount rate applied to the pathwise cash flow, which allows the mapping of the discounted MSR values to the market observed MSR valuations. A few observations of, a, of the OAS are the following. The OAS changes are infrequent, as we mentioned above. The OAS is not a market observable input. OAS are not comparable across different peer valuation models. While it is useful to consider relative OAS within a modeling framework, definitive conclusion cannot be drawn by comparing OAS from different valuation models. We used to get indicative third-party OAS levels by OCC surveys or IOS market. These sources have been discontinued. The last OCC survey for OAS among the banks was in third quarter 2017. At that time, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac 30-year OAS was trending at the maximum, and the, the spread to the medium was tight. For OAS market color in Q4 2018, the OAS tightened over the last 12 months by about 200 basis points for younger, seasoned, lower coupon conforming products. The OAS reduction of 200 basis points is only applicable to non harp and non modified, non private label securities, that is, C30 or C15 MSR portfolio. The reason for that is the Broker color, which is the main data point used to justify this reduction, is mainly applicable to vanilla C30 MSR portfolio transactions in the marketplace. We will take a look at the model in the next clip. I think five minutes time limit is up.